Welcome back to the channel guys. A little update on the car. Got the doors back on. And I forgot to turn the camera on for that. Yeah. So it was me and three other guys, we were able to lift the door. And um, believe it or not, we did this without releasing the torsion bars. Um, so I'll tell you how I did it. Um, this top bolt opening here, I basically placed a, uh, a bolt in there close to the same diameter of the hole opening, but I didn't go all the way through. So it would, was basically right about there. And I took a ratchet strap, fastened it to the wall, and pulled that torsion bar over to a little less than a 45 and my guys were able to set it right in there I threaded the three holes and as soon as I threaded those three holes I put a slight um, wedge to kind of give me the space I need here I can't film and talk at the same time um, and then we release the tension of the ratchet strap and we're able to line this hole up and get this bolt in and we did it for both sides um, I have had to adjust the door a little bit with loosening them and using my body to push up on the door and get the door to shut properly and everything but she's working good uh, we've put uh, started mounting a few props on here got our Capacitors, model, model mufflers, uh, back shield is in, but the secondary shield's not in. And there's our replica Janitrol tank. Uh, something happened with when I tore out the interior in this car, and I tried starting it, and she won't communicate with a fuel pump. And I've tried the RPM relay, I've tried bypassing it, I've tried using different... Uh, RPM relays and I have no idea what's going on um, there's some communication being lost between my fuel pump so that's the other thing I have to tackle got a little progress done here on the plutonium chamber and uh, that's about it so far on this car got these props mounted this side's pretty much ready to go gotta put on some like little details um, some little inscriptions and there's a hose here that goes from here to there. Um, then I'll have to start putting in my um, clamps, which I have one here somewhere. There it is. So I've been playing with this color, and it's like a it is purple. It's a little dark, no, darker than normal. But the other purple that I was using. Uh, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's because it's rubber. Whenever I went to bend it, the paint would crack. So this is a rubberized paint, and it's a purple rubber paint. So I experimented with that. I got our nice green tubes painted up. They turned out nice. Uh, I believe this is the more accurate film color of these tubes. I have a little more darker on my car um, but I'll be changing these I'll, I'm gonna take them off and uh, color them properly just to update on that but yeah we got uh, this custom wrap thumb purple so we're gonna go ahead and uh, paint some more of those and those clamps go all along the wheel wells and over there as well on that wheel well so we got one, two, I think there's one down there, three, three, and then we got one, two, three, four, five in the front. So we're going to do the same thing on this car. Uh, we got our bottom piece in there. 
And that's pretty much it for the update. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, get some more content. Uh, but with work and everything, man, it is tough. It is tough. But I'll do what I can. Um, I did uh, receive this cool remote. I found one that somebody was selling that wasn't astronomically expensive. And uh, this, if you get the film accurate remote with the same with the same uh, gimmicks, uh, there's a guy uh, Bob's Prop Shop, um, no, Doc's Prop Shop on Etsy. And uh, he sells these, but with the film accurate uh, for tube remote, for tuba, and it's the uh, PCM remote. It's it's not this one, but I'll show you guys because I do have the actual film accurate remote. But um, there's a switch back here. I mean, it's literally built to look like it, and to it has. Uh, audio files, film bytes, and everything. So the guy did a great job, and I, it wasn't it wasn't Doc's prop shop either. So we have that, and then let's see if I can get these in order here. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Wait a minute. So no. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah. The timing is perfect. It, you don't actually have to hold that, so it's kind of cool. You can act like you are. And then 60. Turns off the brakes. Watch this, watch this. And then there's a reset for your digits. Duke. And then there's two sound bites for music. And that's it. Pretty cool little gimmick remote. At least I think it is. I don't know, you guys can comment and see what you think, but I think you, the guy did a great job on it. Um, like I said, it's not the exact model, but it's very close in terms of looks, switches. Um, but I guess if you, if you want to spend the $2,000 on a exact model, then go ahead, but this was pretty, pretty damn cool in my eyes. Anyway, all right. So until the next video, guys, please like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see. Uh, I'll try to fulfill those wishes if I can. You know, I'm working on a few things. This car needs a couple updates. Um, that truck is running great ever since I uh, I rigged the uh, relays to stay on when the, for the fuel pump. Um, and then this truck uh, is giving me battery issues, but the battery connections were really bad, so I had to fix those. So she's on a trickle charge now. But anyway, alright, thanks for watching.